Want your Windows 11 desktop to look absolutely amazing in 2025? I'm going to show you how to transform it with stunning wallpapers, slick widgets, and futuristic transparency. All right, let's get started and set up your desktop step by step. Quick reminder, by the way, if you enjoy this, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future customization guides. Now, the first thing which you want to do is go to this link and I'm also going to put it in the video description down below with every single other tool mentioned in the video as well. Now here, what you want to do is click on download button and you should get here this setup file. Click on this folder and then here, double left click on the Windhoek setup file. Now here, click on OK, then click on Next. Click Yes here on the admin prompt and then here, just click on Next once again and then click on install. Now, once you have Windhawk up and running, here are a few mods which you will have to install to customize your taskbar, then start menu, and also the notification center. So to do that, pretty much you will find here on the first page, Windows 11 start menu styler, click on the details, and then here, click on install. Now, once you have it installed, you will go here to the settings and down below, you will find theme option. Click on it and here down below, you will find this option called translucent start menu. Click on it and then here, I also recommend that you disable the new start menu layout. So make sure that you toggle this option on and then here you will click on save settings. And now if I open here the start menu, you can see that it looks very transparent and super nice compared to the previous Windows 11 implementation. Now let's install another modification which will take our taskbar to a whole new level. And this one is called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. Just go out here to the details and click on install. Now, once you have this taskbar modification installed, go here to the settings and down below, you will also find theme options. Just click on it and here down below, you will scroll down until you find this one, it's called Windows Glass. Click on it and click here on save settings. And now you can see here how this taskbar already looks like. I think it looks super sleek compared to the default Windows 11 one. And here we also have this system tray icons, which also animate. So now you can see that the icons don't look that proper. So one thing which we'll have to do is to go here back to Windhawk. Let's go here to the homepage and then make sure that you install this one. It's called taskbar height and icon size. Then you go here to the details and then here you can go under the advanced and these are the options which you will have to change here. So under the mod settings. Now you'll open here your browser and go to this page which is on GitHub. So you will have to look for the settings specifically for Windows Glass theme for Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. And down below you will find this button to expand JSON content. Just click on it here and click on copy and now we will have to modify this taskbar to actually look proper. Now let's go back to Windhawk and under the advanced settings here, make sure that you paste these values right here and then click on save. And now your taskbar should look much better compared to before. Now we already have here the transparent taskbar and also this transparent uh, start menu, but the notification center still looks like this. So to fix that, we will have to install another modification. And this one is actually called here, Windows 11 notification center styler. Just make sure that you install this one. And then once you have it installed, go here to the settings and under the theme, click on it. And then here, select translucent shell. Then click save settings. And now when I open the notification center here, you can see here how transparent it actually looks like. And also the calendar also looks super transparent. So this is what you will have to do to get this really nice taskbar and also the start menu and the notification center. Now let's spice our desktop up with the actual wallpaper. By the way, guys, if you need a brand new wallpaper, which will take your desktop to a whole new level, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description down below. Now for this tutorial, I found really nice wallpaper here on Unsplash. And this is the one which I am talking about. And here, if you want to download it, click, click on here on the this drop down menu, and then here click on original size. Now, once you have it, go here to the file explorer. And once you have here this image, click here on set as background. And if you want to set it as your lock screen wallpaper as well, you will have to double left click on it and this will open the gallery here. And then here on the three dots, click on set as and make sure that you put this to lock screen. So that way you will also have the same wallpaper on your desktop 
desktop as well as on your lock screen. Now let's continue here with the widgets for our desktop. And this is the actual widget pack, which I actually found. It's Big Sur 26 and it looks super cool with the glass effects of the Apple's liquid glass design. So this is how it looks like. Now let's go here to the rain meter and let's install rain meter first on our computer. Now let's click here on download and then just wait for a few seconds. Click here and then let's go here to the downloads folder and double left click on the rain meter installer. Click on OK here, click on next, install and then just wait for a few seconds. Now, once it's installed, click on finish. And then here, let's just wait for it to open. And now you should see here a few of the widgets which should be already pre-installed on your desktop. Now to get rid of them, just right click on them and click on unload skin and make sure that you repeat the same process for every single widget on your desktop. So just like this, and now we will have to install this skin pack. So this one, so Big Sur 26 from the GitHub page. So let's go here to the releases and down below, we will find this button called download. Just click on it and you should get this file called RM skin. Now just click on it and the this installer should open and I'll click on install. Now here you can pick from 24 hour format and Celsius to Fahrenheit and 12 hour format. Then here I will enable this one and then you can also pick different language. I think I'm gonna just go with English here. So click on apply and then here select a layout. I will go with the left one and now we can just wait for a few seconds until the widgets appear on our desktop. And here we have here the widgets on our right as well as here on the left. So one thing which we will have to do here is to change to a different style. So I will go with this liquid glass style, which looks super interesting. And now I'm going to click on OK. Now here we can do a few more things as well. So I will right click here to unload this skin here. Just click on close. And now for all these widgets right here, I think I'm going to just reorder them here on my desktop. So for this uh, calendar widget, I think I'm going to put it here on the left. And then for a deep media player, I will click here on Spotify. And then here I'm going to put it right here on the right. And for the system, I'm going to put this one here. And the great thing is that the widgets also snap to each other. So if you put it somewhere here, you can then just drag it here and it will snap. And this edge, for example, it will be straight. And then for the switches, I'm going to put those here and just like this. And then we can also go to a few more settings. So for example, if you want a different widget on your desktop, what, one thing which you will have to do is to click on this plus to add items. And then here, I'm also going to enable hide labels. So we'll get rid of the labels right here. So instead of the September, for example, here, system and switches it should say nothing. So we will hide labels here. And then for the widgets, I will go here and I will add this clock to my desktop. And I'm also going to add notes. But as you can see here, we have plenty of the widgets to pick from. For example, you can go sunset to sunrise and then we have different clocks and then also the battery indicator. Then we have the shortcuts. Then if you want, you can also add different shortcuts to your desktop as well. For example, if you have the Visual Studio code, you can see here that you can also add a shortcut to your desktop if you prefer it so then you can also go to the web and add different shortcuts to the web applications extras and a few settings as well now and here i'm gonna go to the widgets and add i will add this notes widget to my desktop i will close this option and then here i'm gonna right click on this widget and click on the wider option so just like this and i'm going to put the clock somewhere here and I think it already looks super, super interesting. Now, with all these widgets here on the right, I will right click on them and click on close. And the same stands true for this uh, plus widget as well. So right click on it and then here go to more actions and click on unload skin. And now the last thing to do is pretty much to install the last skin. And this one is called Mont Rainmeter skin. So here just search for the Mont Rainmeter. And then here you will go to this website. I highly recommend Adblocker for this website because it has a ton of the ads. So one thing which you will have to do here is to scroll down and click on the download button here and then click on this to install this skin. Now, one thing which we can do here with this widget is to change the color first. So here, which you, where you see text color, click on it. And then here you will change this to the black. So just like this. And then you can just close the settings here. Now, one thing which you can also do here is to unload every single skin, which we don't want on our desktop. So recycle bin and also this dot right here, I think I'm gonna remove. Now for this widget here on my desktop, I will right click on it. And then here, 
we will have to edit the skin. Now, make sure that you scroll down, down below where you will find meter date. You will remove this. Then you will also remove here the meter 12 hour clock as well as meter 24 hour clock. So just like this and make sure that you are left here with the meter day. Now to increase the widget size, I will go here to the scale and change this to one point, let's say 30. And then here on the left, click on the file and click on save. And now you can close this editor and now you can right click on the widget and click here on a refresh skin. And I'm going to put it here on the middle here. So pretty much this is our setup right now. We have this transparency effects all over the start menu taskbar and also the notification center and we also have this really cool widgets on our desktop inspired by the liquid glass design and I think they look super super well and here on the left one for example you can change the display brightness as well as decrease or increase the volume and then we have this super cool clock widget on our desktop as well so yeah I'm super happy with this desktop and I will put a link for every tool mentioned in this video in the video description down below if you enjoyed this video, make sure to just smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next one.